Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The salvation of the righteous cometh of the Lord, who is also their strength in the time of trouble. Fret not thyself because of the ungodly, neither be thou envious against the evildoers. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall, shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The salvation of the righteous cometh of the Lord, who is also their strength in the time of trouble. You are our Lord Jesus Christ, that thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray thee, that the intercession of thy blessed martyrs Vitus, Modestus, and Crescentia, thy church may learn not to be high-minded, but to grow in all such lowliness as is acceptable unto thee, that we may eschew all things that are contrary to thy will, and in freedom and charity perform all things that are agreeable to the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. O God, merciful and compassionate, who art ever ready to hear the prayers of those who put their trust in thee, graciously hearken to us who call upon thee, and grant us thy help in this time of our national need. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The epistle is written in the 10th chapter of the letter to the Hebrews, beginning at the 32nd verse. Brethren, Call to remembrance the former days in which, after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions. Partly, whilst ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly whilst thou became companions of them that were so used. For ye had compassion of me in my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. Here in the lesson. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth them, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a contrite heart, and will save such as be of an humble spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, the noble army of martyrs, praise thee, O Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Continuation of the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to St. Luke, glory, glory be to thee, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus said unto his disciples, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him whom, when after he hath killed, hath the power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? And not one of them is forgotten before God. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, Ye are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say unto you, 
Whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today we have a couple of saints. Most people don't know them, other than the fact that St. Vitus uh, has an illness named after him, the St. Vitus Dance, uh, which is, I think is a type of heart murmur. But, uh, but other than that, these are not commonly known saints. The cultists of Holy Vitus, Modestus, and Crescentia began in very early times, and it's believed that they were martyred about the year 302. But due to lack of historical records, nothing can be certainly known concerning them. Popular tradition, however, giveth their story on this wise. Vitus was a child who was baptized without his father's knowledge. When his father had found it out, he tried to dissuade his son from the Christian religion, but as he found him persistent, the emperor commanded them to be thrown into a great vessel full of melted lead, resin, and pitch, with the same as most holy relics, and involved them with spices and honorably had them buried. And Vitus came to be honored as the patron of those who are subject to seizures, such as epileptics, and those who are subject to a disorder named after him, the St. Vitus Dance. And he is revered as one of the 14 holy helpers of human need. So who can name one other holy helper? This is our quiz for the day. All right, I'll give you, I'll give you a hint. Blessing Saint of Throats. St. Blaise is one of the holy helpers. St. Barbara is invoked as uh, protection against lightning and thunder. So uh, those are the two that pop off the top of my head. So, uh, so we give thanks to Almighty God for St. Vitus and Modestus and Crescentia. And we pray that God will give us the strength in the face of adversity to keep a confession of the true faith and proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord, no matter what the circumstance. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise they seem to die, but they are in peace. Alleluia. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of all creation. Thy goodness we have spread to us through the earth of life. Blessed be God. Bless the Lord this morning. And Lord, by the memory of this water, we can share in Christ's death. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of all creation. Become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. I'll wash my hands in this and see. This is the same to all. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. I make prayers and supplications and give thanks for all men. We humbly beseech thee most mercy to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty. Beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers. They may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Grace, O oh Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, especially Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, and the primates of our Anglican communion, for Wendell, the Bishop of our diocese, to keep my bishop protected for the clergy of this parish, that they may both by their life and doctrine and sentence their life holy sacraments. And to all thy people, give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. 
we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. Praying for the people of Orlando in this time of great strife and turmoil, the family and child who is lost, the families of those who were killed, the nightclub, the singer. We pray for Bishop Greg Brewer and for his pastoral leadership and the people of Orlando and the Diocese of Central Florida. We pray for our country. Joanne, as she recovers from hip surgery. Jay and Nadine Campbell, who's on hospice and very sick. For all those who've requested our prayers, for all the prayers that are inserted in our prayer room. We also bless thy holy name for all thy servants, departed this life in thy faith and fear. died in Florida. Robert. Beseech thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service. And give us grace to follow the good examples of St. Mary, St. John the Evangelist, and the martyrs and all the saints, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. Ye who truly and earnestly repent you of your sin, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Previously have committed by thought, word, and deed, against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent, and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Here are comfortable words our Savior Christ said to all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the end that all that believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul said. This is a true saying, and worthy of all men to be received. That Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Here also what St. John said, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, for our sins. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, for that thou, with thy tender mercy, didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. And in his, and in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory that is precious death and sacrifice. 
until his coming again. For the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee the memorial thy Son hath commanded his death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. We earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present to thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee. We and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, <coughs> filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. For all those being buried this week from Orlando, Orihan. to these, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, we beseech thee to grant a place of refreshment of light and of peace. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardon thee. By whom and with whom, in the unity, the world without end. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Those who have seen the kingdom. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body and our souls washed through his most precious blood, 
and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that takest away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take thy body and soul Preserve thy body in your hearts by faith and thanksgiving. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Preserve thy body and soul. Those desiring anointing can stay at the rail. I lay my hands upon you and anoint you with this Lord, in the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Ghost, beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ to strengthen your body, to drive far from you all sickness and ill, and to restore you to fullness and soundness of health, your body, mind, and spirit. All this we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. I lay my hands upon you. I anoint you with this oil in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Ghost, beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ to strengthen your body, to drive far from you all sickness and ill, and restore you to fullness and soundness of health of body, mind, and spirit. On this we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. I lay my hands upon you and anoint you with this oil in the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Ghost, beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ to strengthen your body, to drive far from you all sickness and ill, and restore you to fullness of your All this we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. I lay my hands upon you and anoint you with this oil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ to strengthen your heart, to drive far from you all sickness and ill, and to restore you to fullness and soundness of health, of body, mind, and spirit. All this we pray in Jesus' holy name. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us from all sin, and that the intercession of holy, like holy martyrs, Vitus and companions, make us partakers with them of everlasting salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Amen.
peace of God, which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you now and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Do thou this then, and thou spend power of God, thrust into heaven, seek the Lord of the forces, and wander the world, seeking the room of souls. All this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.